All right, so we're gonna head into the real world. No, we're not. We're heading into the, the other world. Then again, who's to say? We haven't have, we haven't had any uh, explanation yet of what this world is. So who's to say that this world that is isn't as real as the other world, right? We don't actually know what this world is representative of. So maybe it really does exist. You know what I mean? Like we don't really know. So there's another mirror here. This is confusing. Hold on. So this is the room we were just in. We walked through. Immediately there's another mirror. But what's around the corner that's pulsating? This is where it happened. Oh. Uh, the there's places. blood everywhere. You? What are you? No! Get out! Ah! No! Huh. Uh, no, not pleasant. Not pleasant at all. So she was brutally murdered in here, but by who? We actually don't even know, do we? Yeah, There's we don't know who no murdered way. her. There's gotta be something. Right, her, we, all we know is her stage name was Vivienne, but we don't actually know her real name yet. That's right. The baddest of the pimpest of bads is the Morobi. Okay. Huh. Let's find out Proto who Man's you really son? were, Vivienne. We got a phone, a phone call here. Oh, no, it's not. What is this? What is this? Huh. A page, page is torn, torn out. out. I can't make out the numbers. George's house, mom, the Neva Resort, and then 5896, underline. That's gotta have something important. 5896, right? Okay. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. She's on the floor. What is it? Partial numbers. One of these must have meant something to her. Uh, it says combine, but I don't have anything to combine it with. This says five, three, eight, three, three. That's what I think it is. It's kind of like a chicken scratch scribble, so it's hard to read. Obviously, it has something to do with something important. Okay, okay, is there some way we can do something with this? Oh, yeah, look. There. There it is. A bunch of numbers, some would say. But I sensed there was a lot more to them. Okay. What was that? Whoa! Oh, my God, Ellie. I thought you were. No, no, I'm... I'm really happy to hear from you. Why didn't you call sooner? You did? But... Eugene, that slippery son of a bitch. Hmm. Ellie. She was very special to her. You don't need to be a medium to see it. Whoa. What's with this, this, and this? You call different numbers. Hello? Oh, hey. Are they asleep? It's fine. I know you're busy. I'm busy too. George's house. Yeah, it's tomorrow. The big day. Yep. Thanks. I'll see you home. Kiss them for me, okay? So this is weird. Exactly it sounds like she's a living a double life. Passion. It sounds like she's married to this guy, George, and they have kids, but she doesn't really care for, for them, for him. She apparently has a friend named Ellie, or maybe more than a friend, because it sounds like she really cares about her, as if, like, maybe a significant other. Um, mom. Yes. Yes, mother, I know. <laughs> yes, I'm mother. I'm doing my best. What? No, I... Well, what about my hard work? It's not always about you. Don't call me Victoria. Ah. You know I hate that. Victoria. That was her given name. Yeah. But not the real one. Not to her. And then the resort itself. Here's another number. Hello? Yes, this is Vivian. Room 347. I want to make a complaint. There was a man here. Yes, from the hotel staff. Frankly, I think I smelled vodka oh. on his breath. Could this be that he... Frank guy? What? 
That was the chief of staff? Yeah. You know what? Never mind. Thank you. Well, it's a stressful job, I guess. <laughs> okay. So we got her name, Victoria. That's what we were looking for. Yeah, it sounds like Frank was made the chief of staff and he basically was a complete irresponsible guy. He was nuts. He even wrote those postcards he never sent. What is this? Some kind of a bracelet? Oh, Ellie and Tori. You called the other one Ellie when you were talking on the phone, so... Tori, it's you. Aha. Uh -huh. The real you. That's your name. So she, she went by, not sense, by Victoria, really. but Tori. Okay. The name is more than what everyone calls you. It's what you feel yourself to be. That's true. You can you can be named something. It doesn't necessarily mean that's who you feel you are. You could feel like your identity is someone different, and you could identify as someone else. And you know, my parents always called me Philip, but that doesn't mean that I go by Philip. I go by Phil, right? I always felt that Phil was really my name, not Philip, even though my parents called me Philip. Oh, look at dead end. Uh, I always was more comfortable with people calling me Phil. Back in this room again? Oh, God. <laughs> okay, now... Where are we going? King Michael, I don't know if this is really you or not. You under have to understand something, King Michael. Uh, there's people who impersonate you on this channel all the time and say nasty stuff. So I don't want to necessarily 100% believe that you're the real King Michael or not. But, indeed, if you do tomorrow, like, become a channel member or whatever, then thank you. I appreciate that, but I don't want to really entertain it since people like to fuck around. Okay? Uh, Spawn Killer did a $2 super chase. What do you like about the game? First of all, lie. the graphics... Putting that curse of mind to good use. Moments the graphics like are very good. Keep me going. Now... I'm not sure anymore. The atmosphere and the graphics are probably the best part. And the lighting, too. The lighting of the game is quite good. Um, the gameplay elements aren't exactly superbly unique or anything, to be fair. You know, it's not bad, by the way. I'm enjoying myself. I am liking the game. The story's interesting so far. Although, I don't really know what's going on. Like, why did everyone die in this hotel? What happened? We don't know yet, right? We're trying to get those answers now. Um, so, I definitely like the game. Overall, it's 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 different. It's definitely different. Thank you. Uh, that was uh, Spawn Killer. Let's get Spawn Killer up on the leaderboard as the latest uh, super chatter. And Chris tip twenty two dollars. Thank you so much, Chris. And with that tip, it is official. We've hit the tips goal for the stream. Which means it is cowboy hat time. Thank you so much, everyone, for your support on today's very first ever medium stream. There will be more of these coming up uh, as I, you know, continue on in the game. I'm liking it a lot, so I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to, to playing it again with you guys. And thank you again for supporting this stream, despite the fact that it's not everyone's cup of tea and some people were complaining. Um, I am happy that enough of you really enjoyed it and uh, wanted to see it continue. So here we go. Tori. Tori's mask. It's okay. You can be free now, Tori. Thank you. Thank you. You did it, Marianne. Sent them away. Ah. Uh -huh. To a better place, I hope. And let me guess. No. Anywhere is better than here. <laughs> can I get the bolt cutters now? Just let me pick you up already. No. Okay, then maybe that was the gate. And maybe if I go back into the other world now, that gate will be gone and I'll be able to grab the bolt cutters. Right? That's kind of what I'm thinking. Here they are. Yep. Okay. We finally got the bolt cutters. Finally. I like how she says the same thing as you. Time to get Cut the crap. The you acquired the bolt cutters. You're like, fucking finally. You finally got the fuckers. Right? So now you can open 
all these areas that were locked before. Did I read this? No, I did not. A quiet girl. Mr. Renkowitz is being unreasonable to put it mildly. I'm a nurse, not a nanny. I understand he needs someone to keep an eye on her, but I have my hands full as it is. Even putting aside all my other duties, there's poor Mr. Tarkowski to take care of. Still, I try to do my best. At least the girl's quiet, keeps to herself mostly. Likes talking to her imaginary friends, but I'm sure it's quite normal for someone her age. Sometimes I can hear her playing out full conversations. I swear it sounds like two people talking. She really is gifted. I guess it runs in the family. Now, are you understanding what this is saying? All these stories are tying together. If you remember, there was a guy who was at this hotel. I don't know if it was Frank or not. It might have been. And the woman fell in love with him, confessed her love to him, and he rejected her. Eventually, somehow, he became her patient because she was a nurse. And he became her patient, okay? So that's exactly what she's talking about. There's poor Mr. Tarkowski to take care of. Now she's saying this girl who might be Sadness, the ghost that we met, apparently didn't really have these other friends. They were imaginary friends. Was she talking to ghosts? Does that mean that there's multiple plot lines overlapping here? That there were actually people who had died previously and the girl saw them? Then the girl died and now she's the ghost? Right? Also, if you remember the plot line, they're saying it was this a uh, nurse who murdered everyone in the hotel <laughs> did the nurse lose her mind and murder everyone is that true like these are all interesting plot lines that are kind of intertwining now and i wonder you know what's truthful what's not and what is the actual sequence of events that happened because right now i have no idea what the sequence of events is actually this place this is where it's oh started. god look at all the blood man Whoa. There you go. Blood everywhere. Hello, my love. Ursula. It's your favorite nurse. Are you in there? Even the speck of you left? I hope so. Because I want you to feel... What the fuck? Everything. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She chopped them up. So what happened? The nurse. It got to her first. But Because why? remember, she was she had been taking care of this guy. This guy apparently was someone she had like romantic feelings for. And then now she lost her mind and brutally murdered him in his wheelchair. Like obviously something happened to change God, her I've attitude. Never felt Look at this. Like that before. That thing had been there. It was where it made its first kill. Where it tasted death. Huh. And liked it. Okay. Empty eyes. My poor, poor Mr. Tarkowski, whatever happened to you, the test came back, no signs of any brain trauma or dementia. Still, I look into your sad, empty eyes. I have this awful feeling like there's no one looking back. Don't worry, my love. I'll take care of you no matter what. I'll make sure you're as happy as can be. 450 milligrams of venlafaxine. That'll chew you up or chew you right up. So weird, they have no evidence, no medical evidence that the guy should have, like, dementia, but he has all the signs of it. Dude, this plot just gets weirder and weirder, but it's interesting for sure. No, I don't have imaginary friends. See, I don't think this is the real King Michael. This is someone impersonating King Michael who used to be a regular of my streams over on Twitch and saying weird shit. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not the real one. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So... Now we have to backtrack back to where those areas were where I needed to cut the locks. There's a couple different places to do it, if I remember correctly. The lighting is superb in this game. Here it is. Here's one. Yeah, the lighting is absolutely superb. Tap left trigger and right trigger to cut the chain. Wow. So worth it. I love you, bolt cutters. Well, I replay Fallout 3 or 4. Uh, I would argue yes, eventually. I would argue... Uh, oh, shit. Phantom. You escaped the creature without alerting it. I did? 
cool. That's a cool achievement. I don't know how I did it. For you know, the creature had been around earlier, and uh, was creeping around. And I guess I didn't it didn't even know I was there. That's cool. Anyway, um, Fallout Three. Since I'm now playing Fallout New Vegas, and the way I'm playing Fallout New Vegas is so fun, taking my time, open world exploration, interacting with you guys when I play it, it feels like a different game to me. It actually does. It's this is actually I'll be honest with you. This Fallout New Vegas playthrough, to me, is the most enjoyable Fallout playthrough I've ever done. That's not me exaggerating. I, like, I'm actually having so much genuine fun playing New Vegas this time around that now I actually want to go back and play 3 and 4 in the same manner. Now, I'm not saying that I'm going to do it right away. Especially New Vegas is a super long playthrough right now. I'm almost 80 hours in, and we're not even done. We got, we're still in the middle of a DLC. We got another DLC to do before we finish. So, no, I'm not going back to do that anytime soon. But... Definitely, I would say Fallout 3 would be next on the agenda. I own all the DLCs for it digitally. So eventually, yes, I absolutely would like to go back and play that one as a playthrough similar to how I'm doing New Vegas. And then what I would say is once we get uh, information on Fallout 5, that would be when I would maybe replay Fallout 4. Okay. Kind of sounds like a spy name. That's what I'm thinking. Cutters. So. Uh, King Michael, I have no idea what my overall gamer score is. It's like 180,000 something or, or something like that. Scene. I don't know. Like, in a huh. movie you don't use your real name for. Polish Sausage asked, am I looking forward to Dying Light 2? That's also a Polish game. I am. I just I hope that since they've taken so much time with the game that it will not be chock full of bugs. If you remember, I was very much liking Dying Light 1 until I was hit with so many effing game bugs during the playthrough that it significantly took away from my experience. Like, remember, I lost all my upgrades and everything, and then they gave me all of the upgrade points only in one particular skill tree, so I ended up having, like, insane amounts of, like, parkour and shit, but then I couldn't actually get the other things that I wanted. Like, the game basically crapped on itself <laughs> and ruined itself. Um, and then if you remember to the end of the game, I, the game completely bugged out on me again. It was all these issues with the game um, where it just was not working properly, and it really did take away from the game for me. So, what I'm hoping is because so much attention has been put in this game over the past few years. They keep delaying it, delaying it. You would hope they took their time to refine it and this game will not be full of bugs when it releases. Because it really did ruin my experience the first time around with the amount of bugs that it had. I felt I would have liked it a lot better and thought it was a much better game if it didn't have 4 million bugs. But man, did it have so many bugs. It was ridiculous. Hello, Froggy the Kid. How are you? Good to see you here today. I think this is where we go now. Yep. Here we are. So now we're backtracking back to the areas we were at before. It looks like we're going to go back to the pool and everything. Zoop. The day room. That's where we had come from. We had wanted to go in there, and we couldn't because it was locked. But now if you remember, there's another locked gate near the front counter of the hotel. So if we can actually go to okay. that gate, I'd like to do that first. Let's see what Sadness wanted me to see. I hope she's all right. All right, we're going back. This door to the left should be locked, and then the other door, the day room door, right, is over here. But I don't want to go in there yet because there's that other gate that we can now open earlier on. And if you remember, there was even light and stuff coming from past that gate. And I want to see if now the game will let us go over there. Maybe it's an optional item or something. I want to check it out. <laughs> Enclave Soldier, I have no thoughts about Ted Nugent as an artist. <laughs> Zero. Yeah, see? I think we could do this now. Here we go. So what is past here in that glowing area? I'm dying to know. Yeah, it's a dead end, so maybe it's just a collectible. Yes, it's a note. Dust and death. Talk, talk, talk. He keeps talking, uh, going on and on, showing me things, places. Flesh and bone, dust and death. I described them to Richard. He helps a little, or helps a little. He thinks it's just my imagination. Says it inspires him, so there's that. I'm exhausted. I know if it wasn't for him, I'd be long gone by now. Sometimes I just want to be alone, me, myself, and I, just for once. Hmm. I 
I don't know who this meant. This this is from. And also it references Richard. So it could be important, but all right, that's it. That's all that was over here. That entire time you were teased about coming over here just to grab that, huh? I think so. Now, I can't switch to the other world, right? No, there's no two worlds right now. I was going to say, can I switch to the other world and see if this is unblocked? You can walk through, but there's not. we're not doing the dual screen thing. What's weird about it, it seems like the game only does the dual screen thing when it really feels like doing it, right? Like, there, it's only done at certain times, and now it's not doing it anymore. Like, it forgot about it. <laughs> it forgot about the whole dual worlds thing, and we're not doing the whole dual screen thing anymore for some odd reason. I don't know. Albert Aponte did a $2 super chat and asked, is the gold vest comfy? Indeed it is. The gold vest is the lightest of all of my vests. Um, and I like it a lot. It's it's It stands out because it's metallic. You can see it very well on camera, right? And it's actually very comfortable for the summer, which is good because it's very warm right now. It's a good summer vest. It doesn't really heat me up or anything, so... All right, so now we basically use the bolt cutters everywhere. Let's see what's in here. Right. The day room for kids, huh? Here we go. Here we go. What are we going to find in here? I thought that was a cutscene for a second. The graphics are so good, I seriously thought that was a cutscene. Now it is a cutscene. <laughs> Uh-oh, controller's vibrating again. Are we going to do the dual worlds here, oh. maybe? <laughs> Yes, okay, now we're doing a world in it. There she is. There he is. There you are. Thank God. You're all right. I was so worried. No. <laughs> yeah. That thing almost got me. What the hell is it? It came from shame. The shame. From helplessness. From rage. Rage? It's like anger, but more. Once it got out, we couldn't stop it. Huh. It ate all of them, Marianne. All of my friends. Your friends? I I'm the only one left. It's, it's okay, Sadness. I'm here now. No, no. It, it'll eat you too. It, just like the others. I won't let it hurt you. I promise. The ball. <laughs> okay. Look, the ball's all rotted in the other world. Oh, it's floating. Tell me something about this place. It's the day room. We used to play here. <laughs> With Richard? Is he one of your friends? Yeah, we found the name Richard. Who is that? Richard. So Richard's he real. Smart. Wait, is he? Uh, a bad thing happened to him. Duh, like everyone. I remember he, he became hollow, like a puppet. He. Whoa. Oh. I remember. Marianne. I don't want to see him. Oh God! What happened? Why to not? Him? What? What do you remember? No. Don't tell them. Well, it, it's don't okay. Tell you don't have to tell me. But you should still come with me so that I can keep you safe. No. No, Marianne. The sadness. No, never again. Why did you bring me here? Huh. Some crazy shit went down in here, man. Then I Seriously. Realized. There was something she wanted me to see. Hmm. With my own eyes. Okay, so we're back to the dual world. Uh, Captain Charisma took me $1.50 and says, What's your, With your opinion of Street Fighter V as an awful competitive fighter, how about it as a gateway game? Like someone plays it to get into fighters but move on to something else. In my honest opinion, m uh, you know, much better fighters. Also, does this game run on the on the X? You mean the Xbox Series X? I think so, right? Does it? Um, Street Fighter V run on everything? I think it does. I think it runs on both. Well, wait a minute. Does it? Actually, I don't know. Is PS it, actually, I think it's only PS4, PS5, right? Street Fighter V? They had that partnership with Sony. 
I'm almost positive it's almost it's only PS4, PS5, right? It's not on Xbox Series X at all. I don't think so. Um, as for a gateway game, the thing about here's the problem with Street Fighter Five. All right, because it threw away so many gameplay elements from previous competitive fighting games. All right. Essentially, the problem is if you play Street Fighter V exclusively as a fighting game and you get good at it, you will actually learn things that are bad for other fighting game franchises, including older Street Fighter games. You know? Like, if you... Just because you're good at Street Fighter V doesn't mean you'll ever be good at another Street Fighter game ever. Because every other Street Fighter before it has been harder to learn and play. Seriously, it's just easy mode game. It really is an easy mode fucking game. Um, you will learn bad, bad habits and things that are not good in other games. I actually was just talking about this on the pre-stream today, that a lot of Street Fighter V is basically low risk, almost completely safe moves, high reward. Richard? Are you there? Richard, huh? So she thinks Richard might be in this day room. I'm going to try to basically end this topic so that I can focus on the game, but Street Fighter V is a game that was made for a completely different kind of audience. It wasn't made primarily for hardcore gamers because it took away all the gaming elements that hardcore gamers need to win. I mean it, like, seriously. Footsies, almost gone. It's like most of the game is just guessing. Guess and it's if it's safe to guess about something. Like, really, that's the whole game. So, it's not like other Street Fighters at all. And yes, you very well may learn some very basics about fighting games by playing Street Fighter V, but you'll learn more basics by playing other fighters. I mean it, like, there's so many missing from that game that... You're basically hurting yourself if you want to play any other Gather competitive fighter. children. I want you to meet Lilian. She's going to be joining our painting class. Uh, why can't I play with my friends, Uncle Richard? Uncle Richard? Your friends? Oh, Lilian, I... I promised your father you would spend some time with the other children. Friends? So... Sounds like he was either her caretaker or uncle, and it's not clear if he was really related to her or not, or if she just called him uncle, right? Hmm. Okay, and by the way, Captain Charisma, this game, because apparently he was talking about this game, not Street Fighter V, this is exclusively on the Xbox Series S and X. It's not on anything else. So I cannot go through here, because there's something blocking. I have to find a way to remove it. Well, actually, I take that back. This is also on PC, I believe. And soon, this will be on PS5. I believe, actually, it's coming out early September. I think so. I remember the first time I met him, working a simple factory job, still more of a boy than a man. Wide-eyed, constantly looking over his shoulder like a scared animal. His parents had died in the Warsaw Uprising. Of, that he'd go of what he'd gone through in the years that followed, he did not want to speak of, and I never pressed him. But it soon became clear that he had no one else in this world. I could immediately tell that despite his young age, he'd seen things that no one his age should. I could immediately tell that he was special. Hmm. What could that be? Who could that be speaking of? Bernard, maybe? So there's definitely something over here. At this table, but... I don't really know what to do with it. It looks pretty disgusting, to be honest. There's also what appears to be a room full of bugs over there. But I don't have any energy right now to use, so I can't. Oh, what is this? Looks like it's for dialysis or something. There you go. Okay. Don't you think he would be better off in a nursing home? What about his family? Richard doesn't have any family. Oh, the poor man. It's like he's somewhere else. We were close once, you know. I mean, not that close, but... All right. I'll take care of him. Hollow like a puppet. Yeah. Isn't that what sadness said? Huh. So, Richard and this nurse used to be friends, right? And then something happened to him where he became like almost like uh, Alzheimer's or something. He's a hollow of a person. He can't remember anything. He's just like a, a shell, an empty shell without any person inside there. 
So she took care of him for years and years. Thomas is in charge of the hotel. She's the, the nurse running things for the people there who need help. And then she loses her mind and murders him. And apparently murders everyone else in the hotel. With no explanation. What made him become a shell? What made her go crazy? Right? Hmm. Interesting. Super Batcat says, but what about ballpark beef franks? <laughs> Did you forget about them? Oh, I forgot all about the delicious flavors of ballpark beef franks. Always a big juicy mouthful of meat. <laughs> oh my god. For those who don't know, many years ago I was playing Resident Evil. I want to say it was Code Veronica X. I think that's the one it was. And right in the middle of me playing it, a pop-up ad pops up on my laptop. I guess I had been browsing a browser or something earlier in the day. And a pop-up app pops up, Ballpark Beef Frank! Starts playing a fucking video of it. And it freaked everyone out because it caught it right on this microphone. Everyone's like, what the fuck? <laughs> this scared everybody. Okay. Thomas, I've always been stunned by the depth and complexity of his imagination. Mesmerized by the surreal dreamscapes his mind could weave. The way he described them with every minute detail. It was as if he had actually witnessed all of it, as if something or someone pulled the veil and allowed him a peek beyond the edges of our reality. An angel? A demon? Is there really a difference? I know it didn't matter to, him, to me, as his visions became alive on my canvas. Some would say I used the boy to fuel my waning creativity. But how can I not to let this unique perspective, his bottomless well of inspiration, go to waste? That would be an unforgivable sin. So now this sounds like Thomas is a boy? But Thomas later on became the caretaker of the hotel, but apparently this is in the past, he's a boy, and he was having visions and telling someone who would then draw the visions. What is going, this story is getting weirder and weirder. The further we get into the game, it seriously is getting more confusing and weird. It's like layer upon layer of story. There's another thing I over here, so many, so much stuff. A sheet of music. Well, at least part of it. A partial sheet of music. Oh, by the way, we have two cat figurines, white and black. You can't combine them. Okay. A partial sheet of music. Is there anything else in this room before we move on to another room? That no, doesn't look like it. Okay. Oh, uh, Shellshock asks, when am I going to play New Vegas again? I believe we're doing it Wednesday. Yeah, I think it's Wednesday. It's the next major stream. Because I'm off tomorrow, so Wednesday's main gameplay stream. Oh, shit. Oh, that, we already saw that memory. Yeah, okay. So I can't go in there because I have no energy. So I'm going to have to go this way and see if we can find energy to charge up and get past those moths. Did I? Wait a minute. Did I check this one? No. Another sheet of music. Combine the two. There's one more piece to find somewhere. Okay. How am I doing today? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking, Kate. Anshake Forever says, I'm going to love this game more and more. I guess Anshake knows more about the game than I do. The plot is great. Like, I'm really uh, interested by the plot. I'm intrigued by it. With memories. Bad ones. Guilt. Humiliation. Rage. What is the... Ah, X. Okay. A method to madness. It became a habit of ours. We'd sit down, sketchbook at the ready, and then he'd close his eyes and start talking, describing all the things that he saw in his mind's eye. The horror and splendor of worlds beyond our own. What started out as an innocent exercise in imagination ultimately became a bottomless well of inspiration. My hand wouldn't dare rest, sketching furiously as he described the indescribable. For a while, I wondered why he was so eager to share his visions with me. To him, they seemed to be a burden, a source of great pain and distress. But finally, I understood. He sought to share them with someone who saw them as a source of beauty rather than madness. Interesting. Yeah, Shellshock, I hope you will not miss it on Wednesday. We're going to continue with the Honest Hearts DLC, which I am about two, two and a half hours into at this point. What do we have here? coming from the globe it feels incomplete well I can't use the razor huh. no. I must
must have to find something to combine with it. I don't have anything right now, so I'm going to have to look around. So the bummer here is, I don't think I can go any further. It looks like there's a dead end room. See? Like, in the real world, she could go further. But the, the spirit world is blocking it. So we're kind of stuck here. I wonder if we got to go somewhere else. Orange Cat asks, is Feasting with the King a monthly event? At this point, yes. Essentially, whenever I do one of my celebratory marathons for hitting a milestone here on YouTube... I'll probably do a new episode of Feasting with the King to go hand in hand with that. So, yeah, likely it's going to end up being like a monthly thing. Crap, here we go again. See, there's a door, and I can't go through the door. Lock. So what am I supposed to do? We already investigated that. I mean, we have two or three pieces of sheet music, and I don't know if there's more sheet music lying around here that I missed. Hmm. Oh, it looks to me, aha. There's a room I can go into only in the spirit world. See uh, that? Locked. We don't have the key. So I have to go only spirit world to go in there. Wind Carl has now done a super chat. Thank you to Wind Carl. We have so many different Carls doing super chats these days. It's hard to keep track of all of them. I do appreciate all the contributions. Thank you, Wind Carl. For the latest super chat. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see. What is that? Oh, that probably goes to the globe. Yup. The equator. It looks like eventually I'll come back here. In the real world. And that'll allow me to see this memory. But for now, I guess I can't. Another thing that's probably in the real world. See that? Okay. Alright, let's go do the globe thing. Here we go. Go do the globe puzzle. Shellshock says, Honestly, thanks to you, I've actually been playing the New Vegas a lot. In my spare time, and I unfortunately work till 6 p.m. Eastern time. What time do you usually stream? My first stream usually starts around 10.45 a.m. Pacific time, which would be 1.45 p.m. Eastern time. And then my late night streams start around 6.45 p.m. Pacific time, which would be around 9.45 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. So, focus on the spirit world. Combine the equator. Made a face. Dude. <laughs> Another junction. Maybe it can show me a way out of here. Oh, so look at this. Now when I rotate the globe, it rotates the room. That's neat. So wait, is there something? Hold on. There might be something in the back of the room over there. There is a hidden picture taken away. It shows a, something grabbing what appears to be one of, of uh, Lily's friends. Now, now we know that Lily is sadness. So someone, uh, probably the giant creature, the maw, taking away Lily's friends, right? Huh. Interesting. Okay. All right. Anything else in this room before? No, I don't think so. I think we just rotate again. All right, now the door's open. We're outside. Anything over here now? I like. I really like this dual screen gameplay. And again, the reason this game had to be Xbox Series S, X, and PC exclusive is because they wanted it on Xbox One. And it couldn't do this. They tried to do it, and it wouldn't. It would just basically lag up or crash 
and it wouldn't do the dual rendering. They couldn't handle it. Nice. Energy. Oh, you know what it is. We're gonna get some energy here? No. The sparks yeah. To I gotta find the other piece of sheet like music and probably play something. it. Yeah. Where could the sheet music be over here? What the hell is that? Piano keys! <laughs> I okay. have this melody. It reminds me of my childhood. Aha. Uh -huh. See you tonight, Guts. The good parts of it. But the bad parts, they're always there, aren't they? You're a very smart girl, Lily. You know that, don't you? You're special. Her voice, is that? Yep, sadness. Lily is sadness. I think we already made that connection. Before we do that, there's something over here. Oh, a key. Uh -huh. The key to that door probably earlier that we couldn't open. Yep. The teacher's room key. And in addition to that, there's another picture there, but I don't think they're letting us look at it. No. Nope. All right. Cut this. Give it a cut. Still the Shadow says he's looking forward to some Halo tonight. Me too. I just hope that I get better. I hope that I don't continuously suck. It's been so long since I played it that it's going to be fun to get back into it, I feel. I just know that everyone who's playing it is a tryhard. Everyone's been playing Halo for years and years and years. The Master Chief Collection, right? And here I am trying to get back into it, and I know I'm going to suck. Okay, we're back. So now we can cut across here and go to that door that was locked over here. Here we are. Teacher's room key. Very good. Froggy the Kid says, I want to buy Vermintide after watching you play. It looks awesome. I'm just waiting for a Steam sale. Keep in mind, Game Pass. It's under Game Pass. If you do the Game Pass, you don't need to buy it, man. What the hell is this? A pen. Come on, Richard. You were always there when I needed you. Let me return the favor. Ah, uh, I don't know, Thomas. What about my work? The university? Rich, I know they kicked you out. Damn. I'm guessing you finally managed to piss off the right people. Stay with us, old friend. Do it for me. For them. So, he brought him here? Richard was brought here by Thomas. Wonder who he meant by them. Hmm. Okay. So that's that. Here's the item that we had seen in the other world. Glasses? Aha! There we are. So, that's how you found him? Policeman? Yes. He was just lying there. He, uh... That's a record? I, I'm sorry. He was a friend. I just... So he's dead. Need a moment. Richard died. That's not true, Thomas. You thought he... deserved it. What? How do you know that? We didn't find that out. We didn't think he deserved it. I don't know how she made that connection. Unless it's right here. <clears throat> Growing apart. Once he got engaged, we grew apart for a while. Now that I think of it, I guess I was jealous. I no longer had him all for myself. In time, I warmed up to her as well. She was striking both in her beauty and intellect. Eventually, I accepted the fact that he was found true happiness, true love, strong and pure, as long as it can be, I can guess. In any case, I was no longer needed. When the project came along, the project, what is that? The one that would eventually be known as Niva. Okay, so this building. I pulled all my strings to get him what he wanted. Even though I knew it would drive an even bigger wedge between us, I wanted the best for him. He was the closest to a son that I'd ever had. Okay, that's probably Thomas and Richard. <clears throat> and here's the third piece of music. All the pieces of the score now. 
Yep. Mazurka. Mazurka. A musical sheet. Alright. So now we can go back to where that piano was. LSB Gaming keeps doing super chats. Now he does when he says, it's Project 7. What are you talking about? <laughs> what in the holy hell are you talking about? It's Project 7. What is Project 7? Anyway, we got 10 minutes left here, guys. Oh, I can't go back this way. We got 10 minutes left on the stream. Aha. Here we go. Now with the music sheet, we can get the energy. Nice. Alright, we gotta go through these bugs. You ready? We got the energy now. Cool. We made it. On to the next part. We're just about to finish the stream, by the way, so... Good thing that we got past that. We're at the bottom floor now. It looks like a fucking mess. <laughs> LSB Gaming did another super chase. The project in the game is Project 7. Oh, you completely went over my head. I didn't even know we were still talking about that. <laughs> Let's take a look around. Um, anything of any note? Not that I'm seeing yet. Anything over here? Perhaps an item? Let's see. No? Nothing. Weird. Right? Weird is absolutely nothing. Hmm. Nah, I don't see nothing, man. Do I like classic Resident Evil style movement and camera? You mean the fixed camera angles? It's definitely interesting because most horror games don't do this anymore. So to actually see a fixed camera is kind of kind of neat. Okay, look at this. Another memory. Uncle Richard, my arms are getting tired. You've been drawing me for hours. The uh, just sat there for Almost hours. Almost done. You know, Lily, you remind me of someone. A girl I knew when I was very young. Did you love her? Yes. With a young, innocent love, free of the ferocity of adult lives. Richard. I'm getting a weird vibe from him. Hmm. There's grief. Sorrow and something else. Huh. <laughs> Orange Cat says this Richard guy's creepy as fuck. <laughs> I was also asked if Sean Evans asked me to be on Hot Ones, would I go? Uh, no, because of COVID. If there was no COVID and someone actually said, hey, I'm doing Hot Ones with YouTubers and you're a longtime YouTuber and I'd like to have you on the show to eat hot wings and talk, maybe I would consider it. But there's absolutely no fucking way I'm doing that with COVID, man. What do we got here? Another note. A new home. I was finished. They had had to let me go. Me, Richard Tarkowski. Those words were recognized across the continent. Whose imagination, as they said, knew no bounds. Whose very name became synonymous with fine art. All that meant nothing to these soulless bureaucrats. To them, I'm just a liability, a source of dangerous liberal ideas. I felt betrayed and empty. I needed to get out. Away from the hollow sickness of the city. But most of all, I needed a friend, and so I sought him out. I knew his wife had died some months earlier. At the time, I thought it best to not interfere with his grieving, and so now I feared that he'd hold it against me for not being there when he needed me the most. Instead, he offered me a home. That's Thomas. Okay. Huh. We're gonna have to make, like, a plot outline to figure this shit out later. Seriously. <laughs> oh, we got something else over here. What is this? The hell? What is that? A doll? There's something there, but how do I get to it? It is a doll. It's creepy, man. We got another memory. Uh. 
Aren't you a bit old to be playing with dolls? Here. I bought it especially for you. Uh... Oh, a ribbon? It's beautiful. Oh, Thank ribbon. you, Uncle Richard. Here, let me... Um, on the other hand, why don't you do it yourself? Ah, uh, what was that? Huh, it's I have like no idea. Stirred inside him. Huh. Something to do with a ribbon? We're following these memories. Aha! There is something here. The ribbon! What is going on? He's crying. The fuck? No! I didn't mean to. You tell me he killed her? Oh, God! What have I done? He fucking killed Lily. It feels cold. What have you done? What the fuck? I think he killed Lily. Oh my god, that's fucked up, man. This is a fucked up story now. It's getting it's getting pretty bad, pretty heavy. Oh, there's a wheelchair here now. What the fuck? Where did this come from? I had never felt anything so desperate. It was calling out to me. It wanted to show me something. Whoa. What the hell is... I only have like five minutes left on the stream, so... Oh, whatever it is, it's interesting and quick. Oh, the Child Eater. You experienced your first vision of Thomas? Oh, God, is that what we're about to see? Where is it? Where is it? God fucking damn it! Idiot! What would you think of me? I failed you. I failed us. Us? Who's he talking to? His dead wife, maybe? What? Yes, I know. I like hearing voices. No, I need Maybe to be sure. Maybe he's talking to the ghost too, right? There's gotta Maybe be he's something a around here. You want what? Fuck! decided to let me out of my cage and only when you need my help surprise surprise hey, you know what I'm not in the mood just tell me what you see come on come on yes I can feel it okay. it's around here somewhere oh well it's real fucking specific. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to help here. Well, you know, sometimes I wonder. Well, it doesn't make it easier when you keep me in the dark for so long. Oh, Christ. Thanks for that, by the way. <laughs> Hell of a way to treat your soulmate. God damn it! There's nothing here! There is. Really? Never wrong about these things. You know that. Yeah, well, screw this. <clears throat> I should have known better than to listen to you. Wait. What? There. There. Where? What?
That picture? What are they looking for? Building tension? Grab the fucking thing! Just shut <laughs> up. What is it, a ledger book or something? He's obsessed. What is he? What have I done? Huh? I don't understand I this. Have no Unless you talk about Richard and Lily? I let him into my home. No. Oh no. It was like a father to me. Like a father to me? Bastard! Who could he? I told you we couldn't trust anyone but ourselves. Keep it together. Think. What do we do now? Hmm. We wait. And when he comes back, oh, just whoa, 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 easy, Tiger. Remember what's at stake here. Just let me do what I do. You better do it fast. Because if you don't, I will. Weird. Him. I thought that Thomas was the older guy and Richard was the younger one. It's the opposite. Richard's older. So now we know Thomas essentially has the same powers as Mary Ann. And that's why he contacted her, probably. Ah! Uh -huh. Thomas. I wasn't expecting you. Is uh, everything all right, my friend? <laughs> Uh-oh. Did you do it, friend? Did I? What? My daughter. Oh, Lily was his My daughter? My 13-year-old daughter. I entrusted her to you. Thomas. Did you do it? I... I don't... I found the sketchbook. Forced myself to look through it. Cover to cover. Every single fucking page! I'm assuming we don't want to look in there. Pretty disgusting, I bet. Thomas, please. Tell me I'm wrong, Richard. Tell me, and I'll let you go. I... It wasn't me. Thomas, you have to understand. There's this thing inside of me. Shut up. Oh, oh, oh. You, you have to believe me. I wanted to die. I'll make it quick. Thomas, I'm so sorry. She's my daughter! I, I, I never wanted any of this. I, I, I should never have come here. But you did. <laughs> No one she is here. Knowing what she means to me. Thomas, I, I swear. I'll go away. You'll never. Wait. Yeah, you are going to go away. No. Let Forever. me out. Let me out. Let me in. Whoa, Spirit Thomas. Weird 
shit, man. It's weird because we have different plot lines going on. We know that Thomas is like Marianne. He can see the spirit world. He's got a spirit version of himself and all of that. Look at this. This cancer has spread far enough. Time to cut it out. Whoa, what the hell? Free Richard from his demons. So... Alright, I mean, we're gonna end here. This is the end of my stream for today. But trying to understand everything we just saw. So apparently Thomas is a, is a medium or a psychic just like Marianne. He has a teenage daughter living at him with him at this hotel. Richard, apparently they, he knows him, maybe he's an old friend of the family or whatever, has major problems in his life where basically he gets kicked out of the university he's working at for, for overly liberal ideas. He has nowhere to go, no job. His friend Thomas invites him to come stay with him at the hotel. Richard is kind of like a surrogate dad to Lily, I guess when Thomas can't be there, but it ends up apparently killing her. Apparently he has this crazy thing inside of him, this monster, this demon, this this desire to kill girls? I don't know. It doesn't seem to make sense. It's not fully fleshed out yet. Like, we don't know what was in that book. that The, the sketchbook. It could have been anything. It could have been him ripping people apart. It could have been disgusting sexual stuff. We don't know. We have no idea. Um, but apparently, Richard killed his daughter or L Lily or abused her. We don't know. Lily, we know, is dead because she's a ghost in the present day with Marianne. So we don't know if she's actually dead or not. Like, it's very... We don't know the whole story yet, right? Um, so apparently, Thomas found out about Richard, confronts him, and has Spirit Thomas go inside of Richard? Because that's what it just said. It said, clear Richard of his demons, and you're playing a Spirit Thomas. This is... Wow. <laughs> this is weird shit. Very weird shit. And I don't know where it's going at this point. It's so weird. So... Next time around, we're going to do this little segment. Sadly, I'm out of time for today. The good news is definitely saved right there. Um, all right. So next time around, we'll find out what the hell is really going on here. And it looks like we're in the past. And it looks like Thomas is supposed to try to exercise the demons of Richard by having this spirit self go inside. But then again, it makes me feel like that maw creature is the demon inside of Richard. Because the way it was talking made it sound like it was the demon inside of Richard, the way that Richard was just referencing the demon. So if that's the case, then Thomas didn't get rid of the demon or whatever, right? Somehow it was let loose in the, in the hotel or something. Okay. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, great stream of the medium. Great progress. After three hours, the plot has really gotten deep and interesting and messed up. But at the same time, it's a horror game. So, let's see what happens next time around. But for now, I want to say thank you guys. It was a great stream. Thanks to those who chilled with me. Thanks to those in particular, of course, who supported the stream. Until next time. Next time I play this, it'll be a late night stream, so it'll only be two hours. Um, but I'm excited to see where it goes. I mean, it's crazy right now. And I, who knows? I guess we're going to find out next time, okay? All right, guys. Excellent. Thanks.